Denver Open Media has made a difference by giving me access. The most important thing is when things get democratized, then it evens the playing field. I love the classes. You know, I, I enrolled in the film school and I've tried to take as much advantage to it as I possibly can. Everybody here is like a family and I, we really enjoy being part of that family. I became a member of Denver Open Media for access. Just the fact that I'm able to come into a, a studio and have, have access to all this equipment. There's such a large amount of equipment, it's much more affordable to become a member and to utilize that equipment as opposed to buying it all on your own. And the fact that it actually gets broadcast on public television, on Comcast, it's just a wonderful opportunity. Right now, we're, I'm in here once a week, you know, producing shows. And I wanted to get into film after college. I actually drove by the studio on Calamath and saw Denver Open Media. It is a great uh, resource to become educated. I didn't know how to film or edit or anything, and now I'm animating and I feel like I'm a pro, so. <laughs> yeah. It's like why I'm here all the time. Even if I'm not making something, it makes me feel like, man, I, I want to do that some more. I love the community here. I love that we get to produce our own content. I produced a show, I think it was like six episodes. I don't know of any other place like Denver Open Media. Um, here in Denver, there's so many um, creative people and there's, there's less entities that are like, hey, we have a bunch of uh, really nice equipment that we would like to, to help you to create. I'm a uh, teacher with Denver Public Schools and uh, I've been a, a member here at, for, gosh, about 10 years and public access is definitely one of those things that we should we should uh, covet, so to speak. Without Denver Open Media, you know, I'd probably be limited to a website or a, a, a print magazine or something like that, but this enables me to do so much more. I majored in journalism and we didn't get a lot of hands-on experience with the media. I was looking for some place to get some off-campus TV experience as I earn my bachelor's degree. Like the production and the studio practice, the technical directing, you can learn a lot of things here. I see like a lot of kids come in here. I am Paulina, uh, I'm 16. I've been here for five years now. My name is Layla Parker and I have been in open media generation for four years now and I started in sixth grade. Hi, my name is Matthew Bacher. I've been in the youth group for about four and a half years. This is like one third of my lifetime. My name is Wolfgang, and I started in the youth group 10 years ago. My name is Bailey Holland. I started youth group in 2014. I went and I got a degree in computer science. I do um, media for a, a land trust. Now I'm a story engineer but I basically write code that edits video, so I kind of came full circle. I think Denver definitely needs a public access station. I think every, every city needs one. If Denver Open Media ceased to exist, we would lose a real heart of Colorado and Denver. We, as Denverites, would probably be ashamed of ourselves because we lost such an important institution in our community. The peg stations with Cross in the United States don't have the strength that we do here in Denver. Public access is so important because you get so many different views and spectrums that you wouldn't get. This is an open door for people to get jobs, to get skills, to even just do something creative. And you never know where it's gonna take you. So I've never been to another city, and I've lived in a few places that has had something like this. I mean, if you're gonna close or take away money from Denver Open Media, do it to everyone. Being in Denver, Colorado as a community, we are a strong people. All we have to do is find an outlet to come together so everybody can hear our voice. Sorry. It's hard because in other cities, I have a lot of friends who live in other cities and they're very creative and they have great ideas, but without like access and without equipment, it's really hard to like make stuff. So I feel really fortunate to be here. Like there really is no other place like Denver Open Media. Just come here, check it out. Talk to the people. You'll see everyone's learning here.